Welcome to this brief introduction on installing and using Plows. So this is uh, running inside the Windows uh, emulator, uh, Windows CE emulator here. I'm going to open up it in the Explorer. Then I'm going to go to plows.com slash plows.cab and open up the uh, program that's being downloaded. And I'm going to install it on my local device. You can install it on your SD card if you wanted. Okay, so now it's installed. I'm going to go to Programs and click on Plows. It takes a little bit of time the first time it starts up, and I'm going to accept the license agreement. First thing I'm going to want to do is synchronize my Evernote notebook with or notebooks with my local um, device. So I'm going to go to Options and set up my Evernote credentials. And you could possibly want to indicate that you want to store notes on the on the storage card instead of in memory. You can also say that you want notes to be tagged with the GPS location. And if you run into problems, you can enable debug logging and then you'll get a new uh, menu item uh, with a log that you can use to send me to, to help me uh, understand what's going wrong. The other thing you might actually, before I go there, I'm just going to click on check to make sure that I've entered the credentials correctly. And indeed it does appear that I know my username and password. Very good. So now I can go to this tab here. If I want to limit the amount of data that gets downloaded, maybe I don't. I only want kind of very small notes. So that's what I'm probably going to do here. And you can also say whether or not you want um, or how, how, if you want to de limit the number of notes by when they were last modified. And if you click on refresh here, then it gives you a sense of what notes are actually going to be downloaded and what notes are not going to be downloaded. So I think the ones in black there are going to be downloaded, and then you can see some of the ones in grey are, uh, are not going to be downloaded. So I'm going to click on OK now, and I'm going to synchronise. Because doing a full synchronization, downloading a lot of notes, um, this is going to take some time, so I'm probably going to uh, cut this and then come back. Okay, so synchronization is complete. I'm going to click on OK, and now I have my list of uh, notes, including the <laughs> details of my bicycle's inner tube in case uh, I need to buy a new one. Okay, so here in this drop down here, you'd see all the different notebooks if you had multiple notebooks. And he here under tags, okay, it's just refreshing. Under tags, you've got all the tags associated with the notes in the currently displayed notebook. So maybe I want to, I don't know, go to domains, and here's my details of some of my domains I've registered. You can also uh, so I'm going to go back and show everything, which does cause a bit of time to refresh. Okay, and now you can also search for, so for example, if I want to search for dust, then I'll get all the all the uh, notes with dust in them. Very handy. Okay, and to display a note, you can double click on it. It opens up Internet Explorer. There it is. And you can also click and hold. And uh, this lets you view a note, obviously, the same way as double clicking on it. You can edit a note or you can delete a note. Now, editing notes will only work for notes, it's plain text notes, notes with no formatting in them. So if I go to this note here, for example, and hold and click. and click. Let's see if I can do it. There we go. I can't edit it. So uh, that's just a, um, basically limitations on the Windows C environment in terms of what you can, the kind of editing you can do. So I'm going to click on new note now. This lets me create a new note, obviously. Here I can indicate the title, a test. I can select what tags I want associated with this note. Uh, and I can type in the content, I can indicate what notebook I want it to go into. Um, now, because I've started doing this, I can't actually create a photo, but if I hadn't entered any text there here, in fact, let's just try this now. 
just remove this text there we go and then I can click on this to get take a photo which I'm not going to do because I'm running in the emulator and once I've created this note let's do that we should see a test being listed here somewhere there it is and if I synchronize that should go up onto my server So there we see it creating the note. And here's the, it's refreshing the list of notes here now, which does take a little bit of time. I can also um, sort notes by different in different ways, but by the various different criteria. And I can view, for example, I can view you know, small thumbnails or big thumbnails. And I can view by a list. Uh, one, I think I, I don't know why this is, but it's uh, you know I, I can't I have not found a, found a way to code around this. If you've displayed your notes with a uh, with an icon in front of them, like we had a moment ago, then it then the Widow C framework seems to reserve this space even though I'm displaying a list. But if I exit blows and start it back up again. So that we've got our list of notes without that gap. So and so, that I don't actually know any other way, any way of getting around that. I think that's pretty much it. Oh, just one other thing: if you click on about, then you can click check for updates, and it'll check to see if there's a new version and let you install. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Thanks very much, um, and do give it a go. I'm currently working on a version for Windows Phone 7, so please look out for that. And you can give me feedback and uh, suggestions for updates uh, to add www.plose.com. There's a support form there. Thanks. Bye.